morning uh, while making a presentation, well, in the talk now, our DG was mentioning that NAIPR is going in and out to go with a lot of online and distance mode courses. Okay. So one of the main demand uh, why we are talking about this particular course is actually, you know that uh, there is a growing demand in rural development and Pachajra areas day by day. You all know that. Particularly when you are talking, I am, I am concerned particularly in Pachajra uh, department actually. We work very closely, our centre works very closely with the uh, Ministry of Pachajra. So we all know that uh, this is a scenario in rural area. We have so many panchayats, 2.5 lakh uh, uh, gram panchayat covering almost close to 6 lakh villages. And uh, you know, in ground, nearly close to 60 lakh people are working in ground, directly associated with panchayats. In the 60 lakh, 30 lakh people are elected representatives. At any point of time, if you take it in India, in the ground, there are 30 lakh elected representatives are there. Apart from that, equal amount of 30 lakh people, the officials are also working. It can be a panchayat secretary, data and operator, or who are associated with the uh, other uh, three levels of panchayat raj system. Uh, it may be a gram panchayat, or a district panchayat, or a block panchayat. So many people are ground level working, but unfortunately what happened, uh, uh, many places, the system, they are not understood very clear, clearly, their capacity building is very weak actually. So, not only those people, you may, you may be the reality you will be knowing, apart from that, so many people associated with Panchayat they are working, it may be NGOs, CBOs, CSR uh, activities, some of the students are volunteering there, so many voluntary organizations, they are very closely working with uh, uh, Panchayat Raj, but unfortunately, uh, there is no clear cut understanding of, about this, uh, this thing, the, the uh, powers of Panchayat Raj system and uh, the, the basic nitty gritties of rural development in many areas. That is the scenario. Keeping all this thing in mind, and uh, there is a memo task of the ministry that we have to empower all these people working in the ground level. So, MAID being a nodal agency in Hyderabad, it is not uh, so easy to at a time you, uh, what is that, train all the people bringing him here, or with, uh, as animals told, uh, we have our SARDs in state level. Whatever amount of training if you provide also within one year or two years, we cannot cover all the people. For example, one state, there is an election that happens uh, for Pachayi level. Within six months, they have to be trained. It's practically not possible to train everybody within six months or one year and bring it. By the time we complete our training in NIRD, SIRD, he will complete his, he will be in the fourth year of his uh, serpent row. Without knowing, doing anything, he will be going next year, next batch of uh, five years back will come. They will do the same thing like that. So considering all the things, it's very much important that uh, we have to enlarge and extend our uh, way of training to their own uh, uh, level, reach out to the people to the village level and everything. So in that attempt only, one of these attempt, now we are making very seriously that understanding the importance of why the people working at uh, uh, village level, they should understand about Panchayat Raj governance. That is one of the things, one of the weakest links so far. There is no such courses are available on exclusively on Panchayat Raj governance and Panchayat Raj management. Probably rural development, some courses are there, already offered by NIRD, uh, TIS or Iruman, so many courses are there. Uh, regarding Panchayat Raj, this, this, this could be the, one of the first kind of course we are going to start actually. Okay. So, as an uh, initial step, what we are going to do is we are go going to reach out to uh, these people who are interested to take up this course. We are going in two ways. One is a distant mode, like any other institution or university is going. We are going distant, distant mode and also uh, online mode. Okay. In distant mode, we got the approval for two courses now, right away, around two months before we got this approval. Certificate will be provided by University of Hyderabad. Okay. That's why I mentioned here. One is a one year diploma course we are going to offer. Okay. Diploma program on Panchayat Governance and uh, Rural Development. Second is certificate course on Panchayat Governance and the Rural Development, which is a six months uh, program. This two. Uh, because NIRD don't have uh, this thing. We, we are not, uh, what is that? Uh, accredited to give the certificate actually. If it is, a, it is going to be a credit course, anybody is going to take up this course, this course, they can further continue their degree in this domain if they want. So these 72 credits will be carried forward for them since it's the used certificate uh, uh, there. So very simply I am trying to show here, uh, for the uh, certificate course, uh, we got a permission that they no, no, no need for any education quality. Initially they told minimum 10th pass to be there something, but since this, this is going to be a more of rural background, this thing and thing. Anybody is interested who can take up this course, they can directly apply. We are not keeping any uh, eligibility criteria for the certificate course. So this is going to be offered initially 
English and Hindi only, and we are planning 13 more languages in the second batch, not in the first batch. Okay, we are at the most in the September first week. This course will be announced online, and we will be intimating to all the people who are uh, our contact list is there, our partner institutions, everybody through them, and also we will be intimating through various channels, through website and other things like that. Okay. It is any other like a, it is a typical normal any other distance mode program. Okay, for a diploma program, uh, whoever want to take up this uh, diploma course, minimum tenth pass will be the eligibility. Okay, uh, we will having some assignments also like uh, typical assignments, uh, what they can do it at lower level and uh, submit uh, for the assessment something. Thirty percent will be assignment and other thing. Seventy percent will be uh, regular uh, thing. Uh, for certificate course, there is no contact class. Uh, we are not giving. It's optional if they want. Some state, if there is a need for a contact class, we will be offering. But diploma course, we are compulsorily giving a contact class for five days in the country. So, based on the state, wherever they are enrolling more, we will associate with your agency also. There is no limit. Either SIRD or any other district level agencies, we will be partnering and you will be helping us in uh, conducting this class as, as a partner institution. So, I was saying that that is about uh, distance mode course. Uh, I was telling that another thing is uh, there is an evergreen demand because distance mode and uh, uh, course always have a time bound. We will start uh, September means we will end up. In middle you cannot join, Anybody, nobody can join. When you open the course in September it will end up next uh, March. If you January you are making, next December it will be end up. But apart from the people who are really interested like any other online course, anybody want to attempt a general certificate course, it's not the university course now. It will be the certificate will be provided by uh, uh, NIRD itself. So these online courses on different six topics, six courses we are going to offer through online. Anyone, anytime, anywhere they can log in. It's not a time bound. And within a week or within a month you can complete. Whenever you are completing, in online only there will be some question banks will be there. Once you clear the question and uh, clear the exam, a certificate will be generated automatically. The machine will generate. It's like a more of an appreciation certificate with the NIRD logo, not with the university certificate. For university certificate, you have to pay. There is a payment process. 1500 rupees uh, they are asking for certificate and over the things. And in the distance mode, I am talking. Whenever the distance mode comes, for the course material and certificate, people have to pay. Okay. But not in the online course. Online course is totally free. So we are going to open totally free. Anyone, anybody can uh, take up the course uh, online. According to their own phase, they can start reading this course and complete it and get the certificate also. We are not planning any hard copy of certificate. We are going to open the certificate directly into the system itself online. Okay. These are the six courses. Right now we freeze uh, right now. If it is needed, we will be, if you suggest some more thing, we will be adding this. This all the things typically keeping in mind uh, panchayat raj governance, who are working as panchayat raj level, including the functionaries or elected representatives, they should know the basics of these uh, panchayat raj governance. Keeping in that mind, these uh, courses are done actually. It's more of decentralization and panchayat management and uh, social empowerment related things. And such a sustainable rural development is another one of the key things where it has a 12 subjects actually. Okay. Leadership development and training. This is one of the major things which was suggested by many people. Motivation and leadership is the missing link in panchayat governance. Many people are not motivated. Something name says they are coming and uh, they are completing their things. There is no, the motivation is not taken forward. Uh, Sar was mentioning morning. If it, there is a uh, commitment and uh, what is that? Uh, what is that? Accountability is not there. Nothing will happen this thing. Okay. So create more of uh, motivation and leadership capacity. There is a specific course. So much of uh, content we are already developed in this. Very shortly we will be launching. And another thing is, it's not uh, applicable to everybody. Governance and schedule areas, fifth schedule and sixth schedule areas. Uh, those states who are working in this thing, we are having a separate one course also. Okay. Totally uh, 72 modules will be covered. I am not sharing the modules here. Once you see the online brochure, no, you will understand uh, more on that. So each uh, course will have 12, uh, 12 topics, 3 blocks, 12, 12 topics will be there. Uh, if one person wants to complete one course, 12 topics, 12 units, he has to complete it. Okay? Uh, we are having our own uh, this thing, we customize one uh, learning management system. It's like a digital learning management system. Uh, in this only you have to log in with your minimal details. And uh, you can take up the courses. Uh, current courses will click all the courses. I am not going in detail to the online how it looks like that because we are not at launch yet. See, this, this also parallelly will be launched along with the distance model. Most of the content we could able to almost last one year we are working on this content. Please understand that whenever you are bringing an online content and other thing, 
it is very very important the content based measure role how simple we are giving the content how people can understand at uh, uh, local language level and other thing we are making all our efforts to bring the content at the most simplicity so we are attempting to give some 2d animation 3d animation content video lectures more of case studies and other things okay when uh, you are going to launch this also will be in the september sir september. Uh, yeah most probably september first week uh, will be launched so almost we are facing the content now so so many experts we bring uh, thing since it's a more of uh, panchayat things we used to go and some villages and record the success stories of the sarpanch who are some leader bikan leaders like those people uh, what how they created some change in the village there are so many people there we and i had an opportunity in the last 6 months working with them and going them uh, even karnataka uh, punjab and anywhere some own leadership thing they brought beautiful changes in the villages those people who are trying to document that peer learning will help help them to understand more and other things there are some people who are even people are coming here and they are doing some programs we had a opportunity immediately 10 minutes of their time that we will take and record their views there are possibilities there we are trying to create more of video video based content which will have more impact okay uh those are some places our own lecturers our own some experts working in this domain we recorded some uh, 20 minutes video lectures and all the things this is a, another attempt uh, where you have some utilized content uh, some key topics in panchayat for example panchayat office management we have 30 minutes on uh, flow of 3d animation okay yeah and what is that there will be some avatar will come and talk about and take you into the village and other thing so that in middle it will stop you it will ask some question interactively you can interact and you can learn this uh, courses on office management leadership and gptp and the three topics we already completed uh, little this is unfortunately little costly affair 3d animation is not so easy thing now we are switching our mode to mostly on a direct video based content case studies in the village itself recording instead of going the animation content other thing like that okay so those are the things uh, uh, in the kitty now so uh, uh, i am not giving any details of when uh, uh, these the details most probably we will end the schedule as uh, first week of september we will be announcing the course course brochure is ready i will try to circulate uh, tomorrow or otherwise it will be available in the nirb.org.in website we will be giving both the uh, certificate course and also the diploma course so first uh, the distance mode course will be launched in the first week and on 15th of september online course will be launched together okay i think you got uh, some idea of what uh, our plan is and uh, we are really seriously looking forward your suggestions and also your participation so it, it doesn't uh, mean that it's restricted only to the panchayat officials or the e elected representatives it's not like that anyone who is interested in this uh, learning about the basics of panchayat governance systematically they can attend so the content course content is developed such a manner that anyone who can uh, want to equip themselves under the panchayat management they can go uh, to this course and uh, take it up okay with this i conclude if you have any queries please uh, ask me thank you